Hey everybody, my name's Mike, and welcome to Budapest, the capital city of Hungary. If you've got a few minutes, I want to show you guys why this is one of the best cities that I've ever lived in. Come on. Welcome to Simpla, guys. On the weekends when they're short staffed, I'll come out and help out behind the bar. It's actually one of the first ruined pubs here in Budapest and one of the most popular here in the city. I think Berlin's the only other city that might have pubs like this. And here on the weekends, you can catch flea markets, lots of tourists, and lots of big fans of the place. Hey guys, here you go. That'll be 664. Take a look behind me. This is actually the Hungarian parliament. It's the second largest parliament in all of Europe. In the 1980s, when Queen was here in concert, Freddie Mercury actually tried to buy this building, but the Hungarian government turned him down. And the boat that we're on, it's taking us up the Danube to Hajodjari Sziget, where the Sziget Festival is held every year. It's one of Europe's biggest music festivals, and I make sure that I never miss it. I'm sitting here on the steps of the St. Stephen Basilica with my new friends. Uh, this is actually the oldest and biggest church in all of Budapest. The reason I wanted to show you guys this place is because it's a good place to people watch, and it's where I bring my friends and my family to check out these small coffee shops over here on the side. <laughs> <laughs> Budapest has tons of open-air bars and restaurants just like the one we're in now, where during the day, families, tourists, and locals come and hang out. It actually gives me a good chance to catch up with my friends as well. But at nighttime, you wouldn't even recognize these places with the types of parties that are going on. Before I head off to work every morning, I like to come out on my balcony, grab my morning tea, and take in the view. It's not bad, isn't it? A lot of the times, Hungarians like to be known for having the biggest, the fastest, the strongest, the longest. And we're actually standing in front of the biggest synagogue in all of Europe. And because of this, Budapest has a pretty big, buzzing Jewish scene as well. I don't know about you guys, but I need a little break. So I'm going to have a fruit and then we'll head over to Margit Island to meet up with my interesting friend and her dogs. Oh no, you got to get the hits into it. Credit, come on. That was close. That was close. That was close. Nope. You. And what's really, really funny is that any of the cities in Europe, they're all B. They're all B, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, B capital letters. So yeah, yeah. you've got like Berlin, yeah. you've got Budapest, you've got uh, Bern, yeah. and then you've got Barcelona. Ziggy Jerry, the body Jerry, the body. Danube definitely has a lot to offer, but one of my favorites is the A38 Club. Last year it was voted number one club in all the world by Lonely Planet. Tonight I'm here for a concert by Fresh Fabric, an up-and-coming Hungarian band, 
But before that, I'm gonna go grab some beers. Behind me is Hero Square, probably the most famous square in all of Budapest. It celebrates all the kings and leaders of Hungary. It's really popular with tourists and with street performers because of its big open spaces. By far one of the best places I like to come hang out and relax after a long work week or a long night out with friends is here with the cool kids and the pensioners at the Budapest Thermal Baths. The thermal waters, the relaxing atmosphere, it makes me want to stay here all day. That's it for me. It's been a great day.